In this video, we will discuss Bosma arrhenia microphthalmia syndrome, or BAM syndrome for short. Bosma is the last name of one of the first doctors to describe the condition, while arrhenia and microphthalmia are two of the three main features of the disease. BAM syndrome is a rare genetic disease and again has three main features. These features are arrhenia, which can also be pronounced arrhenia, and is the absence of a nose, microthalmia, meaning small eyes, and problems with genital development and puberty. Not all patients with BAM syndrome experience all of these features, and the features they do have can vary in severity. The first feature of BAM syndrome, arrhenia, is the complete or partial absence of a nose. The nose may be missing entirely, or it may be small, the olfactory system, the parts of the nose and brain that detect scents, are usually missing or malformed too, which impairs sense of smell. Arrhenia is often the first sign of the disease to be identified, since it can be visualized by prenatal ultrasound. Infants with BAM syndrome often have breathing difficulties, because infants are normally obligate nasal breathers, meaning they usually only breathe through their noses. Trying to feed and breathe at the same time is particularly difficult for babies with BAM syndrome. There is a large range of possible eye defects in BAM syndrome. These include anothalmia, or missing eyes, microthalmia, or small eyes, coloboma, which is a cleft caused by a failure to close part of the eye during development, cataracts, or a cloudy lens, and absent or small tear ducts. Colobomas of the retina or optic nerve can cause vision loss, while colobomas of the iris can cause light sensitivity, since the iris isn't as good at shutting out light. Smaller absent tear ducts can lead to excessive tearing. The genital and pubertal problems in BAM syndrome affect both sexes, and seem to be caused by low gonadotropin-releasing hormone, or GnRH, production by the hypothalamus. Males can be born with a small penis, or cryptorchidism, which is when the testes have failed to descend into the scrotum. Both sexes have problems reaching sexual maturity during puberty. As an example, women may not have breast development and may have primary amenorrhea, or the failure to experience their menses by age 16. Aside from the primary triad of BAM symptoms, a number of other clinical symptoms can occur. These include cleft lip or cleft palate, ears with an abnormal shape or that are too low, eyes that look widely spaced because of the absent nasal bone, and inguinal hernias, where a loop of the intestine pushes into the groin. That can happen along with cryptorchidism. Intelligence is totally normal for those with BAM syndrome. Now, by this point, you're likely wondering the molecular cause behind BAM syndrome. Recent research found that BAM syndrome patients each have a single or heterozygous mutation in the SMCHD1 gene on chromosome 18. Occasionally, the disease is inherited from a parent as an autosomal dominant disorder. However, more frequently, the mutation occurs de novo, meaning it wasn't present in either parent but arose anew during development. A clinical diagnosis of Bosma arrhenia microthalmia syndrome is confirmed by a test that looks for the presence of the mutated SMCHD1 gene. So, what does the SMCHD1 gene code for? The SMCHD1 gene codes for a protein that has the ability to repress the expression of other genes. The specific steps by which mutated SMCHD1 protein leads to BAM syndrome symptoms is not known. Nor is it known why some individuals with the SMCHD1 mutation get BAM syndrome, while a few others have rel really mild symptoms or no symptoms at all. SMCHD1 mutations, sometimes identical to those found in arrhenia, have also been found in individuals with a rare form of muscular dystrophy. Previously, we mentioned how BAM syndrome may be identified or diagnosed, but let's summarize it. Prenatally, BAM syndrome can be identified by looking for arrhenia during prenatal ultrasound. Upon birth, medical geneticists or pediatricians can do a full physical examination to look for the three main features of BAM syndrome, these being arrhenia, eye defects, and underdeveloped genitalia. Lastly, a special laboratory test can be performed to check for the presence of a mutated SMCHD1 gene. 
As far as treatment goes, infants need the most care. Complete lack of a nasal airway may lead to an oral breathing tube or tracheostomy being placed, but this isn't always necessary. Coronal atresia, or a narrow or blocked posterior nasal airway, can be improved with surgery. If feeding and breathing at the same time isn't safe, a gastrostomy tube or G-tube can be placed. Later in childhood, corrective surgery can be done to give patients prosthetic noses and to correct eye defects like opening up small tear ducts or replacing cataracts with artificial lenses. Sex hormone replacement therapy can help patients go through puberty. There are a number of conditions that can appear similar to Bosma arrhenia microthalmia syndrome. These include treacher collins syndrome, frontonasal dysplasia, and frontofacionasal dysplasia. These are differentiated from BAM syndrome by clinical exam and genetic testing. Holoprosencephaly and homozygous Pax6 mutations can also feature arrhenia, but these involve brain malformations, whereas BAM syndrome does not. To summarize, BAM syndrome is a rare genetic disease characterized by arrhenia, microthalmia, and issues with genetic development and puberty caused by a heterozygous mutation in the SMCHD1 gene.